Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about building and what to do in build fights. So in this game, I get a decent amount of kills, but a lot of the fights come down to building. There's build fights where I use my building speed and, you know, efficiency to win the fight. And there's other times where the enemy is, has height advantage or maybe has the high ground on me and I'm not able to actually take the high ground off of building. So I'm going to show you guys what to do when you're winning in a build fight in this video and also what to do when you're losing because not everyone can have the high ground every single time and there's multiple ways to retake it or just to get out of there. So I think this is a really important video to talk about because building has become such an important thing in this game. I mean, it always has been, but it's just so much more damn important now because you basically, when you get shot down, you just fly away because of the glider redeploy. If you guys could smack a like on the thing, I know you guys do love my tips and tricks videos. I think you guys will like this one uh, where I basically, I'm going to analyze this video and talk about why I made different moves and basically how to win build fights or what to do when you're losing them. So drop a like. I would appreciate that. If you guys do enjoy these tips and tricks videos, let's go for two 2,000 likes. It's a lot to ask for, but it would be a killer if we could hit that. That would be amazing. The support has been incredible. I thank you guys so much for all that. Thank you guys for over 600,000 subscribers. So, um, early game here. Um, early game, there wasn't too many build fights, of course. If you land Tilted, which I think is the best place to go for high kills, the good thing about Tilted is early game is it's kind of good when the fights are without mats because you usually won't have many mats and you don't want to spend your early game farming. You want to spend it racking up kills and then spend your mid game rotating and farming. So that's why I go with the double barrel and the double barrel was such a great gun to find because uh, if you have two shots and early game enemies won't have an, uh, you know much shield either, just makes it a lot easier. Here I hear a guy gliding in on me, and the first thing I do when I hear a guy gliding in is you want to try to take the high ground so that they won't be able to do that. He uh, basically grapples away, and I just take him out there with some free shots. I really do think, that, dude, later in this gameplay, and okay, this gameplay I got earlier today on my Facebook stream, right? So um, if you guys want to check out my Facebook stream, I'm streaming there uh, every day for like the rest of the month, and also you know into next month and everything like that. I've been the Facebook streams have been amazing the support up there has been incredible it's on facebook.com slash green goblin hd i'll leave a link to that but basically um what i was trying to do there was uh, that guy just sort of just gave me a free kill and in this game later um, I swap out the scar for the AK, which I don't think is a good choice. I honestly think the AK is better or not the AK. The scar is way better. The AK is a lot of damage, but I just find that I can't be accurate with it every single shot. Sure. You can be accurate for the first couple shots, but then the bloom is just ridiculous. I don't know. I need to get some more time and uh, played with that. But for now I'm rocking the scar. Um, although I do use the AK in this gameplay, that was basically just for fun. I don't prioritize the AK over the scar. That's what I want to say right there. I third party a fight, which is what you can do and what you should do with these new glider mechanics and unfortunately i didn't get both kills there i thought maybe i would have a chance at both kills just because i had the double barrel and i tried to you know shoot one with each double barrel uh, but i still got you know four kills off of tilted is not the best a lot of my kills come here in this late game to the mid game and that of course is why there was so much building or build fights in this video i probably use like thousands of materials i don't know the exact count uh, maybe it'll show at the end but i use quite a bit of materials here um and right here what i'm trying to do is it's the same strategy at tilted once i clear out tilted I just want to make sure I get all the loot, you know, suck the loot dry from Tilted, get every single chest, get every single, you know, floor spawn that's important, and then I farm up, and then I make a rotation over towards Leaky Lake, where I get into basically my first big build fight of the video, which we are going to talk about. Now, the thing with build fights and with the new glider uh, redeploy, sure, you don't get punished. Oh, actually, I killed this guy first. I forgot about this. So this guy is up here, and this is, this is a good, uh, so sometimes people are above you, and the way to take high ground on them is just to build like this, quick knife. 90 degree turns that will allow you to basically build faster than they can shoot you down for the most time he did get the shot down there because my building was just a little bit too slow jump on him of course 99 and 98 insane with the double barrel i hit him for 197 there and then you know the last three easy on the p90 but that's something you'll see me use multiple times in this video as a way to retake high ground it's just with quick 90 degree turns it works great when you're build battling someone but it works even better when they already have the high ground and you need to use those walls to block them off you'll see me do it uh, i think i do it a couple more times in this game so right here i'm just going over to uh leaky lake i wanted to get some of these chests which i think this is a pretty good landing spot also nowadays um i thought a lot of people landed here but i guess not this game because all these chests were sort of here um and this is where I was like, should I take the scar or the AK? I think I take the scar here, but then later maybe the AK. I don't even remember. I was I was testing out the AK tonight, but it just wasn't it just wasn't hitting for me like the scar is with the accuracy. And over here I spot uh or no I don't spot the next guy. I'm just going for chests, but I realize loot is down, so I realize there might be an enemy around here. Um, and that's where of course I do spot this guy right here in a second. He actually gets a shot in on me, and this is where I'm in trouble. So first thing you do when you get shot. 
you know, you immediately build and start popping your heals. That's what you can do because you can sort of hear them when you're when they rush you. Next, I turtle. Now, this is a common misconception where everyone thinks that you need to have the high ground to even compete in a fight. Having the high ground is the best part of a fight, but you don't need it. I mean, it's really nice to have, but you don't need it. Uh, anyway, there, I, I take my time. I heal up. This guy didn't put enough pressure on me. And once again, I'd use the same strategy, 90 degree turns, and I easily take the, well, actually, I don't take the high ground, but I block him in and I trap him, which, I mean, who cares about who's above? Uh, the other person when you get a person trapped so i hit him for 150 with the trap and i mess up there and this guy ends up escaping my build you'll see a couple times in this game i get people trapped and i hit him with the trap but i'm not able to finish them off which i guess i probably should just spray through it's tough because you always have the decision between either spraying them down placing another trap or basically just trying to block them in and wait for the trap to go off again. It really does get tough. Anyway, this guy jumps away and I was kind of, you know, disappointed because I invested so many materials into that fight for this guy just to fly away and get away scot-free. But luckily, because uh, I, I, I couldn't really tell where he went uh, based on the audio cues, I thought he was just hiding below me. Um, and he was still around this area, as you'll see. I catch him here in a second out of the corner of my screen. And this is why I like the scar. I mean, I'm standing up. I'm not even crouched. And it's just a laser beam. An absolute monster with the aim assist. And I really think that the scar... Maybe the AK is deadly on PC... But when aim assist is involved, you want the gun with the, the tighter bloom or, or less bloom. And the scar, just to me, the scar unsilenced has been my go-to. So you can see there, um, the first little couple of build fights I had. Um, and um, then right here, we basically go up. And this is where I get into a bunch of fights. And this is what's going to happen mid-game. This is a longer video, by the way, too, because this gameplay had a lot of action. I take a lot of damage. I use a lot of mats. Um, right here, I get another free kill once again with the scar. I mean, the, the scar hits for 70. Sure, the AK can hit for 96. But you're just playing off percentage. I'm really, you know, I'm, I'm rocking with the scar right now. That could change in the future, though. But I just want, I know people are going to ask about that. So that's what I've been rocking with lately. Um, as far as P90 versus SMG goes, um, I was using SMG for a, a, quite a while. But lately, I've been rocking the P90 again. So, I, you know, th these are all personal preference decisions. Tack versus pump. Um, you know, AR versus burst versus uh, AK. SMG versus running a rocket or heels. You know, it's all personal preference and all, you know, depends. So anyway, this is where I first get sniped at. And I didn't actually know which direction I was getting sniped at because I wasn't I was looking over at the chat um, but then I, so I instantly box up and then I realized okay he's from this way and here we go a build fight so I go ahead and I take the high ground and I get so high above him that I drop down that will happen sometimes players won't build as quick I use a nice little you always want to you know put a roof above them and then I use a nice little slick edit there to try to get the shot in unfortunately this guy is kind of quick his movements I mean he's, he's not the most insane player or anything but his movements are kind of quick there I try to jump off and build it doesn't work but you can see if you're a smooth builder I mean this guy did not expect me to take up that much ground so quickly, so I just, you know, stay on him, and I essentially win the build fight. He sort of quits building and takes this fight down to the ground level, which I was totally cool with because I have a double barrel that's going to hit for big damage, and bada bing, bada boom, I get the kill right there. So I'm doing pretty good. Eight kills uh, with uh, 12 people left. Had a couple of build fights. This guy lands on my builds. I get a couple shots in on him, and he starts building, but I actually have a good angle on him, and I sort of just follow him up on his builds, but then he drops down, and then there's another person over here so the fights are just crazy hectic you can see here this is another one where i have to fight a guy who started way above me and once again i'm able just through fast building through 90 degree turns to get him and, and trap him in and then again he escapes because i make a mistake and i try to place the trap i should have just held him in there and i think that's what i'm going to do in the future when i get a person boxed is help hold them in as long as you can um this guy tries to fly away he ends up coming back and there's just so many fights right here so many third party fights you'll see how i'm able to do it so i dropped down to try to get an angle on this and i hear multiple people fighting and i know i have the double barrel they're probably weak i want these free kills um there is the football player from earlier there is the other player so these are the two people that i'm fighting sort of matching up against each other and the reason i rush is because i want to get both these kills um so i get the first kill but i take damage and then he hits me hard from the side and what do i do the same thing every time i box up um, I build up not too high where they can shoot me down, but I box up. I place a trap. So if someone is to grapple gun or charge into, you know, placing a trap will just scare them a little bit. And it's worth it, especially if you have a lot of traps. Um, and then here, of course, I take my time. And once you're boxed in, it can make it a lot easier, like a lot harder for enemies to find you. Like, look how long it took for this guy to find me. Um, eventually, he ends up locating me. I'm trying to get this shield off. Uh, I'm trying to pop these. Um, and this is basically just stalling because I want to wait for the campfire to work better. But he does end up getting a shot in on me here. 
Um, and then I was like, okay, this is unfortunate. So I, I tried to create distance between him and sort of take him on in a traditional uh, fight. That would be better. So what I do here, of course, this is what, this is what you want to do. If you fly away sometimes, they'll notice you flying away. If you move from box to box, they can't, you know, he didn't know where I was. Right here, he's above me. And that's where I decide, you know what, I'm going to to um, basically try to take the high ground on him and I spin around this guy loves to shoot down my builds though so every time he shoots down my builds I fly at him aggressively and the reason why I'm flying at them aggressively and why I'm going so trying to get so close to the enemies in this game is because I do have the double barrel you'll see once again there having a sharp 180 turn and a sharp 90 degree turn can win you games and once again being a good builder fits very very well with the double barrel which is a gun that's been nerfed and I'm not the biggest fan of anymore but if you can build and if you can sort of control the build fights and you can see how many times I've been right next to an enemy almost every single time I mean, I've gotten multiple trap hits Unfortunately, I couldn't finish them off with the traps, but I did get those kills um, and So that did help because of course doing 150 damage is absolutely huge when those traps did hit them um, I'm, I think one of them hit I'm not sure if the other one missed um, but then here I loot up and then this is why jump pads are still kind of useful although they're really not as useful as they used to be, but you can use them to, to fly without building up as much. S same sort of thing with balloons. I think jump pads should get some sort of a rework or a little bit of a buff, maybe shoot you higher now. Um, anyway, I catch up to this guy, shoot him down, and as soon as you shoot someone down, what you should be doing is going for the builds. Once again, I just get close to him and I'm able to take him out with the double barrel as well as the P90. Now, the thing with the double barrel is it's good, but I only like using it when I have a trusty sidekick, which is the P90 gold. Very, very trusty. And you can see there how I stayed in control and I won a lot of build fights there against multiple parties. I always, almost always had the, the high ground over the enemy players. When they took high ground, I waited for the right moment. I healed up. I boxed myself in. And then at the right moment, I tried to retake high ground. And that's sort of what I did. Here is another build fight. And this build fight, actually, I don't win this build fight because this guy has a quad launcher. So I was playing aggressive, right? Uh, it's it's not a smart idea to push someone who's already in a, a built up one by one like this because they have, I mean, this guy's up on a mountain. He's in a built up one by one. He has a bunch of height advantage over to me. So I switch over to the trap just so I'm ready in case I get this guy in a trap with a build fight. And I immediately start to build up and I start hitting 90 degree turns right here. Um, this isn't really reinforced, which of course he's going to knock me down. Um, but then I just sort of fly at him. He places a trap there, which I, so I couldn't go into his actual base. I couldn't either way because, um, just because I wasn't high enough. Um, but once again, I'm hitting 90 degrees and you can see it's rinsing and repeating the same sort of stuff. This isn't like, you know, I'm not playing against the same person every single time where they have a scouting report on what my style is. These are new players every time. And I'm basically using the same sort of moves. This guy, what, what stops him and the only way he's able to stop me from that 90 degree turn is because he has the quad launcher. And this is where I get into a little bit of trouble. So I try to take him on close range, but I miss both the double barrel shots. And once you do that, you want to take your time and you want to make sure you can get that reload off. This guy you can see has height advantage above me I go and I try to take the height advantage again and once again the quad launcher so I realize okay at this point quad launcher is the best for destroying builds because not it's not like RPG where sure he shoots one I wait it out and then I build up you know quad launcher he can just he can really take down my builds all the time and that's probably what it's really good for you know so I'm like you know what I don't have that many mats I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna rotate to the zone I had to move anyway so I was like let's rotate to the zone and let's not fight the guy from low ground to high ground with the quad launcher and that's what I mean by this video is about winning build fights you can see that I win you know the majority of the build fights and of course win every fight but sometimes you just don't want to take fights even even though that guy was four stories uh, above me, I, I felt like I could take the high ground from him. But once I saw the quad launcher, once he started to hit a couple of those shots, I was like, you know what? Peace out. I'm out. And that's where I make my way over here. Now, this is where I had the gold AK just because I wanted to give it a try. And honestly, it's so nice when you do hit them. But I just feel that, you know, the bloom and everything as of right now, you know, as no matter how good your aim is, I mean, maybe if you're like, I don't know, maybe, maybe the absolute PC god, because you can, you can technically aim better on PC than console, you know, minus aim assist. Just because a keyboard and mouse or a mouse is e easier to aim with than the thumbsticks but you know on, on console of course everyone has aim assist and it's an even playing field but i feel like that runs better with the scar at least as of right now so this guy tries to make some distance on me and once again i do the same thing you know i try to build up and i get shot at by an actual third party here which is unfortunate and this will happen sometimes you know when i'm not covering my back when i'm building up ramps you're gonna get shot at sometimes and i go for a play on this guy where i'm like you know what i need these mats I only have 300 mats so i was gonna jump onto that player um once again i wasn't high enough 
enough. But you can see here what I go for is I tried to take the high ground on this guy as well. And um, I'm right about to get it, but we both get knocked down by a third party, which will happen. How I say the 90 degree turns, I mean, people can knock you down from them. Usually it'll be a third party, though. It's kind of tough for the actual player to do it. And then you can see here, late game, I sort of just, you know, I flew over to the zone. I was sort of out of mats. And then I realized this guy just died above me. So I run up here, take his mats, and then I'm able to win this game from the high ground position. So you can see how if my building was, you know, if I if I wasn't didn't have as many mats, if I wasn't building as quick, if I wasn't, you know, uh, you know, blocking those walls, split second is all it takes for someone to crack you with a heavy for a hundred or hit you with that quad launcher, and that completely changes the fight. So that's basically how I was able to win this this uh, game. You can see a lot of the fights were the results of build fights, which is going to be all the fights pretty much mid and late game. Early game was tilted tower shotgun action, and that's sort of how you can get some nice, you know, decent high kill win. This is a 12 kill win, which isn't the most amazing. I watched this guy come out of the zone. I dropped down on him in a way that, you know, without popping my glider. The, real, the reason I do that is because when you pop your glider, you're a target. He could sh shoot at me. When I slid down the mountain like that using that old tactic, I was able to have the advantage on him, and that basically got us this win. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like on this thing. If you guys made it to the end, I think you guys should definitely drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new, and hopefully this helped you guys out in how to win build fights when you have the advantage, when they have the advantage that you want to retake or when you just want to get out of dodge which is sometimes the best thing to do i really really do appreciate the support on the video uh, on, on all the videos and thanks for watching guys drop a like and i'm out peace